Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. It's Tuesday, July 27th. Breaking news today from the SBA on EIDL loan increases. It's big news. They've 10X'd the rate at which they review applications for EIDL loans. They did a webinar this morning. I'll talk about what they said, including the data they gave, and most importantly, the date they say everyone's applications should be reviewed. So for all of you still waiting for EIDL loans or EIDL loan increases, this video is for you. And if you've been denied or are in reconsideration, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. It helps others see this information, which is incredibly important for individuals and small business owners. Be sure to watch until the end. Of course, every subscriber of our channel is entered into our $1,000 giveaways. We pick two winners on Sunday. We're probably gonna pick two more this weekend as well. All you have to do is be a subscriber, comment in one of our videos this week or more to increase your chances and download our free app. It's HelloSkip in the App Store and Google Play or you can use the link trackeidlgrant.com. Okay, here's the news. The SBA did a webinar this morning on the COVID-19 EIDL loans. They shared a little bit of information and then did a Q&A at the end. Here are the big takeaways. EIDL loan applications are being reviewed in a different part of the SBA now. We don't know the full details there, but we assume it's an area that had more capacity, more bandwidth, more people to review loan applications. Over the past week, an average of 20,000 applications have been reviewed per day. Do you have any guesses on what it was before? Remember, the last data we had before today was that there had been 30,000 EIDL loan increases approved and 30,000 new EIDL loans approved. That was from June 24th. So what we heard today was that prior to last week, the SBA was reviewing around 2,000 EIDL loan applications per day. Imagine that, 2,000 per day. They've 10X'd it now to 20,000 applications per day. That's based on what they've reported. We haven't been able to independently confirm it based on reports. And since this is relatively new, of course, we don't know if this has staying power. Will they be able to keep up this pace of 20,000 applications being reviewed per day? You know, if a loan officer gets through 20 applications a day, in my opinion, I think that's a lot. That would mean that they have to have 1,000 loan officers. So I don't know exactly how they're doing this, how they were able to 10X just by moving to another department. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It seems to me that they would have had to put in some automation that could mean the mass declines that went out last week. Maybe there was some automation that would basically flag anything that had a discrepancy and give an automatic rejection letter. I know a lot of you had automatic rejection letters. That's why the number of folks who are considering reconsideration is so high because maybe that's the SBA solution to clear the backlog, reject a lot of people. Of course, last week we put up an EIDL reconsideration template, just a quick template that you can open up on your computer put in your business information and email to the SBA to get back in the queue. Yesterday I talked about why that's important. Let's say a loan officer decides to reject you, so you've been denied right here. You need to get back in the queue, and the SBA on the call today encourages this. If you believe you are eligible, but you've been denied, please get back in the queue, submit a reconsideration, then you'll be in the queue to be reviewed by a loan officer. And hopefully the second time around, you'll get through. You know, the cynics could say this is part of the way the SBA is trying to hustle through and make sure that you really want it. You know, if you really want that loan, they want to give you a few more hoops to jump through or just say, look, things didn't match up, but the burden is on you as the applicant to prove to us that things are aligned. So if you want to get back in the queue, by all means, go for it. If you don't need the money anymore, then we're good. Anyway, you can get that reconsideration template on our app, trackeidlgrant.com. Also gets you a $10 credit for our app. The last piece of very good news today was the SBA saying they expect to review all EIDL loan increase applications by the middle of August. Okay, so it is towards the end of July right now. They basically said in the next three to four weeks, let's give them an extra week, they should have reviewed all EIDL loan applications, not only new ones, but also the increased requests, which we have to believe is the majority of requests right now. So if they are doing 20,000 applications per day, we don't know if they're counting Saturday and Sunday. Let's say they're doing 100,000, a little more per week. Over the next month, they can perhaps get through half a million EIDL loan applications. It seems like there's a lot more out there. So I would love to be proven wrong if the SBA can get through all of the backlog of applications by the middle of August or even the end of August based on the current pace and the belief that there's probably a couple million applications still outstanding. I don't see how they can do it, but let's see what happens. 
Bottom line, that's great news today. Finally, we have some more numbers. We've been waiting for a month to hear what have you done about the EIDL loan increase process? How have things sped up? And what should people do if they are denied? Of course, get in line for reconsideration. By the way, we have updated our EIDL loan and advanced data lookup. The data here is updated through last week. You can search by grants or loans. We've made it easy now if you only wanna search for grants or loan recipients. Maybe your business name, maybe businesses near you. You can do that right here and see all of the EIDL loan and grant recipients. It's on our app, or you can go to helloskip.com slash EIDL dash data. I'll leave the link right below. Most importantly, thanks so much for tuning in. I'd love to hear what you think about this news today. Does it give you more hope for the process? Do you still have questions you want to hear answers to from the SBA? They plan to do more webinars this week. So if you have questions, drop them in the comments. We'll try to get them answered. Stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow.